What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Project here, back with another reaction. And today we are going to be reacting to When Good Samaritans Save Cops. Let's see it. Why are you getting out also, of I want to ask y'all for each situation, what would you do in this situation? This is 64 year old David Kubek, who was just pulled over for speeding. After the officer approaches the car, Kubek is seen stepping out of the vehicle to get his license from the back seat. My driver's license. Yo, oh, is he back? Let's be able to step out of the vehicle. Step over here now. Have a seat on the ground. The officer tries to get him to sit on the ground, to which he refuses and aggressively gets in the officer's face. Oh shit! Have a seat. I'm not sitting. I'm not sitting. Oh my god, bro! Yo, he just got aggressive as hell for no reason, bro. I mean, having to sit is kind of crazy, but like, yo, you ain't have to do all that, my have boy. A seat. I'm not sitting. I'm not sitting. Back off. Back off. Sit out, you see now, old man. Put your hands behind your back. I'm not I will tase you, sir. After Quebec refused multiple orders, the police officer pushes Quebec against the car, which results in a physical struggle. Damn! Oh my god, bro. Quickly, the officer realizes she is overpowered by Quebec. Bro, you getting beat up by old man? By, get out of their cars to assist the officer. Bro, who's fucking grandpa? Hey, whose linebacker is this? Hey, yo. Radio semi unit. Hey, man, he just tackled him like dick buckets, bro. Knock it off, man. Knock it off now. You don't do that to a woman. Do you Talk understand me? Quebec is being charged with assaulting an officer and resisting arrest, along with his speeding ticket. Oh my god, there's a citizen going after him. Dang. Police were chasing a suspect in a stolen truck. They say they tried to pull the man Oh, did his tire just fall off? They followed the suspect weaving through traffic in neighborhoods before finally ending up in this industrial complex. Going behind the building. Okay, got it. Bro, how are they not catching this motherfucker, bro? He's literally driving 15 miles an hour. The man took off on foot, jumping over a fence to get away from police. That's a kid. Bro, he can't be taller than 5 foot 4. Where is his parents? Thankfully, a man driving down the road saw the suspect and jumped out of his car and started chasing him down the side of the road. Yo, and he's not it, bro. He is hawking his ass down. After catching up to the suspect, Yo. he gives him a big bear hug and restrains the man until police arrive. Wow. That was a Yo, he just run barefoot? Bro, he was doing all this barefoot. With the toes out. Nah, that's why he got caught. The suspect in this blue car was believed to be involved in a recent shooting. The suspect can be seen in an active pursuit trying to evade police weaving in and out of traffic with multiple police vehicles following. While most people were trying to get out of the way of the pursuit, one vehicle decided to try and help the police trap the suspect. The two vehicles you see here are unmarked police cars. The person in this blue truck was not. You could see them aggressively cut off the suspect oh, and help shit. the police detain the driver. Hey, hey, W Samaritan, bro. Honestly, though, I think either way you put it in that situation, he didn't really have anywhere to go. But you know, just as just as an uh, as an uh, security blanket, that was that was a good move. But I don't think he had anywhere to go. A mom with a baby stroller was walking down the side of an alley, waiting for a car to pass them. The driver of the car is 16-year-old Christopher Baca who seems to be intentionally driving straight towards the mother and her baby. Why is he speeding like he that? Rachel Bro, what is wrong with- ...to lift the stroller over the oncoming car. Why would he do that unprovoked? the two, the driver keeps going, trying to flee the scene. Just before the teen can get away, a good Samaritan crashes his truck into the fleeing driver. The driver pleaded guilty to a hit and run and was only sentenced to five to seven months in juvenile detention. Only five to seven months. Outraged at the decision, including Rachel. To me, it seems almost like a light sentence. You try to kill two people and, and you get five months. That's attempted yeah. murder, bro. I don't want no hit and run. That is attempted murder. It wasn't like it was an accident, bro. He sped up. 
He wasn't even on the side of the road. Nah, he tried to kill them, bro. That's attempted murder. I don't care what nobody say, bro. Five to seven months. Bro. However, Christopher Baca was shot and killed shortly after his sentence was over. I ain't saying two police officers got into a foot chase with I ain't saying he deserved it, but karma exists. But police tried to pull him over for driving a stolen car. The license plate was showing to be a stolen vehicle. During the foot chase, one of the officers starts to tire out. Running in the summer heat with an extra 20 pounds of equipment starts to finally slow him down. What's up? Yeah. But that's when Jimmy Davis pulls up and offers the officer a ride. Yo. I said, sir, would you want a ride? He goes, yeah, man, let me get in. The Good Samaritan saw the police chase happening and offered to lend a hand. At the right place at the right time to help an officer. I appreciate it. Davis brings the officer to his partner who already has the suspect on the ground. Pretty good taxi, don't mind me. Bro, that's a the W person, bro. He gave him a lift. Vehicle carrying 30 bundles of hair. Y'all letting the police get in your car? After turning into a parking lot, the suspect nearly crashes. Just seconds later, the man driving this white van has a tough decision to make. He says, if my life has to be put on the line to save five people from getting killed, then my life could be gone. Head on? Hey, man. The man pins the suspect's door shut so he can't escape. Hey man, it's always the people in the big old trucks or vans, bro. They be coming through clutch, bro. Look. Hey man, that's not a crazy amount of damage for a head-on collision. Police later found a stolen handgun with 30 rounds in the car. 30 rounds is crazy. After pulling a man over for reckless driving, the suspect immediately gets out of his car what are you and lays doing? on the ground in the middle of a busy intersection. What the fuck? What are you doing? Who? Come here. Come here. Come here. What are you doing? Come here. The man appears very frightened and skittish, which is most likely drug related. I was about to say, what perks is he off of? The officer tries to calm the man down for his own safety. What is going on? Bro, what what perk is he off of, bro? Oh, because you about you about, you almost crashed into me. Hold on a second. Calm down. What's your name? Frampadilla. Frampolina. No, 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 no. You gotta stay right here. Come back here a second. Come back here a second. Come back here, man. Come on, hold on. Put your hands on your back. Put your hands on your back. Put your hands on your back, man. Put your hands on your back. Stop. Once it becomes clear that the man is not in his right state of mind, the officer attempts to cuff him. The suspect begins resisting, which results in a struggle. The officer's body cam disconnects during the struggle, but thankfully another officer arrives on the scene. This man right here is an innocent bystander who later helps the officer. Yo, look at his dog, bro. Hey, hey, hey what's the dog doing? Get on the ground. Put your hand behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. You can see some blood on his head after taking a punch from the suspect. Put your hand behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. Nobody's gonna kill you. It ain't worth it, buddy. It ain't worth it. Okay, sir. You I'm I'm seriously concerned for this man's mental health, bro. I'm not gonna lie. It seems like he's having a manic episode, bro. Jeez. Relax. Relax. Well, who nobody hits you in your face. Relax. Sit up. You hit me. Sit on your butt. You good, sir? Bro, what the hell is happening? Yeah. He shoved your officer, tried to run away. Your officer raised his hand. Your officer... All right, man. All right, man. Uh, comment what you want me to react to next. Um, we out.